My current research explores how international politics in the Asia Pacific is being transformed in the early 21st century. The Asian region is home to many great powers, the United States, China, Japan and Indonesia, who are increasingly vying for leadership in our region. And part of this struggle for leadership has involved the creation of new economic organisations. For example, America's Trans-Pacific Partnership Trade Agreement, or China's recently minted Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. And my research explores how the great powers in Asia are using these new organisations to competitively position themselves as the economic leaders in the Asian region. I teach a module called International Political Economy. And this module explores the politics of the global economy by asking three key questions. First, we talk about the governance of the global economy. What are the rules, institutions and organisations that manage the economic ties between countries? Second, we ask questions about power. Is it states, international organisations or perhaps multinational corporations that push forward economic governance? And third, we ask the question about winners and losers. Who gains and who's left behind by contemporary patterns of economic globalisation? Expertise on global economic governance, particularly in Australia's region and Asia, is a highly in-demand skill today. Governments need policy advice on how Australia can best manage its relationship with the economic superpowers in Asia, particularly in light of new trade agreements and new international organisations that are being established today. Businesses also need good, sound knowledge of how the economic systems in Asia are transforming so they can best position themselves to take advantage of new emerging markets. And we develop graduates who are going to be job ready to help position Australian government and business for the country's coming Asian century.